Well, the countdown is on. Uh -huh. In eight weeks, the Olympic Games kick off. It's 45 days. And heading over to represent Australia in basketball for a third time is Canberra native and NBA championship winner Paddy Mills. Uh, with the guts and glory continuing with the Paralympics, of course, in September, triathlete Kate Doughty is the unique competitor, one unique competitor, that's for sure. The former equestrian hopeful only changed discipline two years ago. It's an amazing story and is now a major medal contender. True champs, these two. Paddy Mills, Kate Doughty, join us on the couch. Good morning, guys. Good morning, thank you. Can you believe Hi. it? It's only eight weeks, or as Kylie pointed out, that's 45 days. No, less, eight... no they put eight weeks, but it's actually 45 days, I, which is a lot less than I know, weeks. right? Yeah. Paddy, 45 days till the Olympics. Um, how much training do, do, do you ramp up for the Olympics? Because you'd be in peak performance mode all the time. Yeah, definitely. You know, especially for something so big like this, you know, you got to be able to manage your time to, to have off, to be able to let the body recover from a big season, um, but then ramp up the training for uh, for hopefully a big Olympics. For a massive Olympics. Kate, this is a really interesting story. You started out in equestrian, now moved across to triathlons. Talk about talented. What What's that transition been like? Uh, interesting, challenging, mm -hmm. exciting, um, and t to be honest, an, an amazing change and challenge it came from the change came out of a time of sort of grief and despair after losing my mother and I wanted to try something new and I did and look where I am today so I'm pretty excited. So you've got to get Incredible. yourself a medal for your mother right? Yeah definitely. What, what, what's the strategy involved? We know about the training and the hard work and the blood and the sweat and the tears but what sort of strategic thinking goes into winning that medal? It's really about, I think if you look at it, there's the training side of it and then race day. So on race day, it's, it's a mind game too out there in triathlon. Anything can happen on the day. Um, things do happen, like accidents and stuff, but it's about strategy and how efficient you can, at, um, how efficient you are in sort of putting things into place on race day. Uh, uh, Paddy, if we look at you, usually you're over there in the US playing with the San Antonio Spurs. But then when it comes to Olympic times, you guys take off those jerseys, put on the Olympic ones, and enemies become friends or do they? <laughs> yeah, no, no, they do, um, especially in, in the NBA, you know, there's so many um, international players that play and then on, on the team that I'm on with the San Antonio Spurs, there's a number of us that obviously love to play for our country, so uh, we're friends when it comes to America, but then we put on our country colours and, and we're, we're fighting against each other, so it's a great experience and a great honour for all of us. We want to see a smackdown over there. <laughs> Mate, that's a nice fancy talk, but we that's want, the to, plan. We want <laughs> to see some action. Yeah, right. um, now, you're going to be turning 28 when you're in Rio. Did yeah. you know that? Um, I we, did. Know we, that. Gonna, we looked. Now we've we've done some homework for you because you're thinking, am I playing that day? Am I playing? <laughs> you have a clear day on your birthday yes. in Rio. It's actually going to be my third birthday that I've had in the Olympic Village, so um, it's a little bit of a tradition. So. Um, you know, what better place to, to celebrate a birthday than, than at the Olympics? So yeah. Pretty special. So you've got to just wait a couple of weeks till you cut loose, though. Right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> a couple of weeks. <laughs> Kate, what is it that you're looking forward to in the Paralympic and Olympic experience, I guess? I think for me, I've wanted to go to the Paralympics ever since I was a, a little kid, and mm. I always thought that would be an equestrian. So to be actually be there and represent my country, um, at the Paralympics, just enjoying it, you know, making sure I'm, I'm embracing the moment and doing my country proud. I'm really looking forward to that. And a lot easier just to pack a suitcase rather than packing up a horse float and getting in the quad and shit like all that. Yeah, you know, like that's yes. a whole lot easier, right? Yeah. I don't have to feed the bike <laughs> or anything. Right. Don't have to that's wash right. it if I don't feel like it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is a bit easier. Now, Patty, just quickly, the result of the NBA finals with the Cavs winning yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so that's three years in a row with an Aussie in the championship team. Yeah, Good it's stuff. an awesome achievement, um, yeah. you know, and I think where Australia's at with basketball and the support that we've been behind, it's, it's a great achievement, you know, Del Vadova, now Andrew Bogut last year and me and Aaron Baines that before that, so a great, a great accomplishment for, for all of us yeah. and hopefully it just keeps continuing. Now Paddy, I asked when you sat down on the couch, you said, where did you watch the game yesterday? <laughs> and you've got to love his response, such is the dedication of this man to the cause, what did you do when the game was on yesterday? Um, I was actually working out uh, down in Melbourne, so uh, I figured if I couldn't be there participating in the NBA Finals, then I might as well keep uh, working on the game to, to try and get this medal uh, in Rio. See, that's dedication. I would, have been, I would have been there with the ribs and the, you know, <laughs> and the buffalo wings, but no, oh, this yeah. is a true, this is what a true champion, this is why these people are champions, Larry, and you and I are on the couch. <laughs> Eating ribs. <laughs> Eating ribs. Uh, both of you are ambassadors for the Royal Australian Mint. Uh, now, these commemorative uh, uh, coloured $2 coins are, are pretty fantastic, actually. We've had a close look. Uh, Kate, talk us through these. 
Well, there's six coins in all, so five of which are Olympic coins, and mm. the sixth one is the Paralympic coin. And, and each of the five Olympic coins um, have a coloured ring on them, and they're released each week from the 19th of July, and each um, coloured coin each week has a different coloured um, ring for the Olympics. And then the sixth coin being the Paralympic ring is the first multicoloured coin released, yes. and that's released on the 22nd of August. Oh, they're absolutely stunning. Paddy, if you do well over there, maybe... You know, I wouldn't mind seeing your face on one of them rather than the Queen's. But, you, but you've got to do well, right? Maybe put some makeup and <laughs> maybe get rid of this beard before I get on the phone. But you nailed that, by the way. That was awesome. That was, that was a good <laughs> spiel, wasn't it? Where do you get them? Uh, Woolworths, so they're going to be distributed through the tills. There's 12 million coins being distributed through Woolworths tills. And also, if you are scared that you're going to miss out on getting one through um, the circulation process, you can also buy them as a package. So the Olympic team one is this one, and then the Paralympic coin. They're Beautiful, great. we've got you covered. It's great having you guys on the show. We wish you the very best Thank of luck. We can't let Paddy go without a question about Andrew Bogut. How's he doing? He's nursing yeah. with an injury. How's he, how's he looking? I haven't spoken to him yet. I think he's obviously a bit down after the, the NBA finals, but yeah. um, you know, hopefully his, his injury will, will be okay. You know, knowing the person that he is, I'm sure he'll do whatever it takes to be able to get healthy and and uh, you know, be available for the Olympics. But um, you know, knowing him, uh, a half a bogut is better than no bogut as, as well. So. Well, we've always said that here on the show. <laughs> but it's going to be a race against the clock, though, right? Yeah, it is. Mm. It is. But I'm sure he's going to do whatever it, it takes to, to make sure he's on the team. So hopefully no that's doubt. the case. No doubt. Um, guys, thank you very much. Good luck to you. Have thank you enjoyed you. being on the show? Lovely. We have. Thank you. Can I have that watch then, please? Because that's a fancy watch. <laughs> I'll trade watch for your shoes. Oh, <laughs> oh, mine's from Wardrobe. I think they're Berettas. Uh, good on you guys. Good luck. And I'm going to see you, you on Race to Rio or here on yes. the 7 Network on Saturday. Definitely. Afternoon at noon, we'll have a further chat to you about all things basketball and heading into Rio. I think I'm a real chance at that watch. <laughs> I know, I know, you these, got these pair of shoes. The yeah, two <laughs> commemorative uh, Australian Olympic and Paralympic coloured coins will be available at Woolworth supermarkets from Tuesday, July 19. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.